Hey guys, FIFA Rick 5 9 as you can see by the task for you guys, we do have another FIFA 14 video and today we're going to be taking a look at a new series that I'm going to be basically doing and we're going to be doing Sandy Cazola, a road to Sandy Cazola, I'm not sure what I'm going to call it, you'll see in the title of this video. So basically guys, we're going to be starting off with the starter pack and all the daily gifts that we get every day and we're going to be trading to, uh, to Sandy Cazola, he's about 20k I do believe at the moment, um, he's going for about 15k on this day but I recorded this about I think it was one or two days ago, so his price has risen a little bit, and I'm hoping he doesn't rise too much um, over over like you know 30k because it will be quite a struggle to get up to him then. And we're basically you know we're going to be starting off with like the starter pack like I said before, and you'll be seeing like what sort of players I trade with. So it sort of gives you an example of you know some good players to trade with. And the first of them was Danilo, as you can see, picked him up for 550 coins, quite a nice deal, as he goes for about 900 coins. The Elias we got for 500 coins on a buy now at the 54th minute and we're listing up for 650 coins trying to make about 100 coins after tax and that's um, the price that he actually goes for on the first go I think he sold about 30 minutes after I listed him not too bad and the Danilo went like um, 5 minutes after for 900 coins you know we made about 400 coins on him after tax and actually 350 coins and the Burnett um, the guy that we got in our daily gift he also sold and this basically shows how hard it is to pick up deals as you can see the guy just outbid me so quickly and we got this read for 400 coins on a buy now, and we listed up for 700 coins. And I do believe that's what he does go for. The old Hummity for 1.1k, I do think it was. And we listed him up for 1.4k. So we got Scarari here for, I think it was 850, and we listed him up for 950, hoping to sell him. The old Hummity actually didn't sell on the first go, and I do believe he did take me like two or three goes to sell. The Fernandinho is the next player, we managed to pick it up for 2,000 coins. And the old Hummity has finally sold, and Scarari also. I think the Scarari sold in the second go. And you know, it's a decent profit to be making at this stage. It's very hard to make coins at this stage because everyone's just bidding like 100 coins below the buy now. Like for example here, this Emerson, he's going for like 850 and I was just bidding 750 coins. But on average, most people are bidding like 800 coins. Um, I got quite lucky with these three because they were the only three cards that I bid on and I somehow managed to pick them up. Because normally I'm sitting there for like um, 20 minutes just to pick up one card because it's that hard. And the Fernandinho, as you can see, has sold for 2.3k. And we're hoping these Emersons do sell, and they did sell the next morning for 850 coins. Basically, the second one actually went on an open bid, which was 800 coins. Quite bad to see for us because we missed out on about 45 coins after tax. The Emerson went for the last one, went for 850 coins. And we got this Isaac guy from Barcelona, and I just saw him, and I picked him up for 300 coins just by a bid. And we do sell him on for 400 coins, you will see later. And we got this daily gift now for the next day, which was 500 coins. And these are actually screenshots because I was at my um, school at recess and I picked up these deals then because um, I got a bit bored. So I just went to the library and went on the computers. So as you can see, the Danilo um, managed to pick it up for, I think it was like 1,000 coins or something like that. The Isaac Canua went for 400 coins. The Danilo sold for uh, 1.3k. Nice profit to see right there, about 200 coins. The Reed went for, I think it was like 750 or something like that. I didn't really see it. The next player, we got another read again for 800 coins, listing it up for 950 coins, hoping to sell him on. And I do believe does sell um, after that. And then after that, we actually went out and uh, picked up these Danilos for 1,000 coins, all of them. And that's how this episode is actually going to end after I show you um, me selling the read. And I basically just did this because um, I had about 3,000 coins, 3,700 coins to be exact. And I just put like, you know, a few bids here and there and I managed to win them. So I thought I'd list them up for you know, 1.2k, trying to make about 200 coins on them. Their average price is about 1.3k, so they should sell fairly quickly. And that's it for this episode, guys. A like would be appreciated. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.